by fate, are born with disabilities are incredibly brave and strong. Some are born blue, because they were born with rare umbilical cord abnormalities, others are born prematurely, as happened to poor Marlo. So they must struggle to survive the first most dangerous months of their lives. A similar story happened to little Paisley, who was born with a rare condition called Beckwith-Whiteman syndrome. This disease caused her little baby tongue to grow rapidly and eventually become twice the size of her small mouth. Because of this, she could not eat, could not breathe, or even smile on her own. Fortunately, doctors were able to give her two surgeries, which resulted in her tongue shrinking to its normal size, and making life so much easier. Paisley Morrison Johnson was born with Beckwith-Whiteman syndrome, which affects only 1 in 14,000 babies born. This disease can cause abnormal weight gain several times over, as well as increase the risk of tumors. This rare disease caused the baby's tongue to grow to an incredibly large size. It has almost doubled the size of her mouth, and doctors have stated that it is the largest tongue they have ever seen. Her tongue filled her whole mouth, it was very thick, and it was also sticking out of her mouth whole, recalled the baby girl's mother, Madison Kaino to the Daily Mail. Doctors feared her tongue might block her throat, so they hugged the baby up to a ventilator for the first three days of her life. Fortunately, by the end of the week, she was able to breathe on her own. Because of these kinds of problems, the parents were not able to feed the baby from a bottle. The baby had to be fed through a gastroscopic tube through which milk went straight to her stomach. In addition, she was constantly chewing on her tongue, which caused many observations and inquiries from strangers. At the age of six months, the baby had her first surgery, and had almost five centimeters of her tongue removed, reducing it to its normal size. First the medial muscle was cut off, and then the other parts were removed in small portions from each side. But despite this procedure, Paisley's tongue grew back to its original size, so it had to be repeated four months later. On the second attempt, another portion of the tongue was repeatedly removed. Luckily, the girl was on the mend, and the growth stopped. And since the big tongue problem was solved, the baby started smiling freely, and acting like every other baby. I couldn't believe it, and I was insanely happy watching my incredibly beautiful little girl, says Kino. After surgery, Paisley looks completely different, she seems so anxious, but she still won't stop smiling. The swollen tongue due to Beckwith Whiteman's disease can cause speech problems, but Kino says she's already working on getting Paisley to begin to speak her first words. She couldn't even make sounds, let alone words like, mommy and daddy. Paisley will probably need a speech therapist when she's a little older, but this smiling child is already catching up on what used to be a problem. Thanks to two life-changing surgeries and a loving family, nothing can stop this sweet little girl anymore. Thank you.